most common, most viewed videos on the channel would be common problems of Filipino nurses here in Germany. So I thought of making another version which is common problems ng adults. <laughs> so, hi, hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this is Odyssey. I am a Filipino nurse working in Germany and I do share my experience working abroad, life in general in Germany, and also life lessons as we navigate through adulting. And this is one of those videos wherein I wanted to share some important lessons na I wish na ituro sa school. Kasi wala naman tayong idea paano ba to i-handle. You're lucky enough if na ituro to sayo from, one, from either one of your family figures, then you're in a good head start. But if you're also like me, I came from a broken family. Then these are things now we have to learn the hard way from other people then, from our friends or from the books that we read. I do wish that I no, sabi ko, sana may ate din ako para makausap ko or matanungan ko about these things. But let me be that for you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about this. <music> Um, I used to have no sense of identity. Hindi ko alam ko ano yung gusto ko. I cannot enumerate what's my values, what's my standard, how do I define beauty, what's success for me, what can I tolerate, what's red flag for me. I have no idea. I didn't have that kind of conversation when I was growing up. Uh, you'd also notice it yourself if you're constantly seeking validation if kahit yung mga simpleng bagay na hirapan ka mag-decide. It can, it can be simple as, salimbawa, ma, alin yung mas maganda, itong green or ito yung blue? Alin ang susuotin ko ngayon? Or when you go out with your friends, no, halimbawa, nasa restaurant kayo, you'd be, girl, anong orderin mo? Ah, yun na din sa akin, girl, mukhang masarap yan. You know, I had this talk with myself, sabi ko, girl, makinig kang mabuti. <laughs> Starting from now on, you're owning your life you'd be more accountable sa lahat ng decisions mo. Siyempre, natakot ako. Ako daw yung, ako na daw yung accountable, hindi na daw yung ibang tao. Sabi ko, on my head, sabi ko, ah, paano pala pag napaiksi yung gupit ko, tapos hindi pala bagay sa akin. O, ano naman ngayon, girl? What's the worst that could happen? At least alam mo na. Now, I realize na we seek validation in a way because we have that idea of perfectionism in our head. Dapat, life goes as planned. Eh, hindi naman ganun. So, we have to let go of the idea of being perfect. Kasi, life naman talaga is a series of you fail, you learn. You fail, you learn. Minsan pa, you fail, 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 and then you learn. Or, fail, 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 and then you learn. <laughs> Ito, minsan pa, no? Alam mo kung ano yung gusto mo. Pero when other uh, people influences you of their own preference, you'd be like, Sige na nga, girl. Gayahin na din kita. You have to uh, think about it. Without all these people, without the celebrities you follow sa IG, sa TikTok, without the judgment that you create yourself, ano ba talaga yung gusto mo? Unfortunately, as we adult, there would really come a time na you'd face life with the same question, with the same decision na you have to do on your own. The earlier you learn it na maging accountable sa own life mo, you can man up your mistakes, you can find solutions, you would be more free. You have to allow yourself to really get to that point wherein you know yourself in a deep and more personal level so you don't have to seek validation from anyone. <coughs> being insecure. <coughs> talking about appearance. Alright, next is being insecure. Talking about appearance. Ito nga juicy to. <laughs> Let me share some old conversations I had with my mom. I, lo I, I, I love you, mom. Natatawa na lang ako pag naalala ko. But please don't get me wrong. Our parents had the best intentions for us. Ayaw nila tayong masaktan. Gusto nila perfect lang. Pero again, life has never been about that. So, ito one. Habi niya, Ate! <laughs> Ganyan usually yung intro na yung mama. Ate, tumataba 
wala ka. Baka nagsistress eating ka dyan. <laughs> Last year, I was um, experimenting on my weight. My definition of beauty that, you know, I only had to be on a 50 kilogram mark. So, I gained weight. I tried to gain weight um, progressively on a purpose last year because I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to see up to anong weight comfortable yung body ko. Maybe I'll talk about it in another video. Medyo nasasegway na tayo. Pero yun, sabi ni mama. Or, ate, yung cellulites mo. <laughs> sabi ko, mom, ang arte ko pa naman, girl, magsalita. Lalo na pag may, kay mama, I make it even more extra. <laughs> sabi ko, mom, I never meant to be perfect, but I still feel pretty though. <laughs> Kung katabi ko, girl, si mama na bugbog na ata ako. Or ang paborito girl ni mama ito, sabi niya lagi. Ate, kanya niyan magsalita. Diyos ko, kapal-kapal ng kilay mo. Sabi ko, sabi na, sabi mo na ate niyo. Mom, eyebrows are meant to be sisters, not twins. Tawa na lang ako ng tawa, girl. But the way my mom made these comments are her own perception of beauty. Now, is it my own? So, I brought this up because what I noticed sa atin sa Pilipinas, no? Though Filipinas naman are naturally morenas. Bug-bug yung advertisement mo na makikita mo kahit saan. Billboards, supermarket, TV, Facebook, Instagram. Ilang beauty products yung nakalagay whitening. If halimbawa, ang definition mo ng beauty is maputi, then go. By all means, try mo yung kojek. Pero if gusto mo naman talaga morena, own it and don't fall for these advertisements na gusto lang naman yung pera mo. Don't try to fall on these advertisements um, na would try to fit you on a box what's their beauty standard is kung hindi naman talaga yun yung sayo. Create your own. Be confident in yourself that even though when other people provide comments about their own beauty standards, realize that it's their own and it also doesn't have to be yours. Not being responsible of finances. I used to live gastos, gastos, gastos. Pag may tira, save. Hindi naman pala dapat ganoon kasi paano pag nagkaroon ka ng emergency, utang is not the solution. Halimbawa, you also want a new bag, no? I used to fall for buy now, pay later kind of scheme or swipe na lang sa credit card. But I realize you're setting yourself up na magka-utang. Pwede din pala pag ipunan ko na. One, you'd realize if yun talaga yung gusto mo, eh hindi naman pala. Second, since may cash ka on hand, wala ka ng utang. Dati, nung nagsisimula ako mag-budget, no, these are during my early working years. Okay naman ka ako yung sahod ko. Ah, at bakit para wala pala akong natitira? And then, when I list down all of my expenses, yun pala girl, yung bulk ng sahod ko ay pambayad ko lang pala sa credit card kasi kung ano-ano yung pinagpipili ko. Paunti-unti lang naman, around 500, 1,000. Ending, pagkatapusan girl ng buwan, Ala siya, naging 5,000, na, ay, naging 10,000 na pala yun. Very wrong. What you're paying, halimbawa sa credit card, would give you passive income, go. Pero if liability lang naman siya, instead of asset, don't fall for that scheme na bili ka ng bili. Kasi sa totoo, after few weeks, after few months, ay hindi mo na yan kailangan. Ay hindi mo na yan, girl, magagamit. Next. Ito na, ito yung pinaghihintay niya. Happy Valentine's. <laughs> Relationship dating. Tara, narinig mo na ba ito? Ouch, girl, nag-host ako. Hindi <laughs> na nagparamdam to si Loco, ha? Charot. I used to be so anxious when it comes to dating. I used to think a lot. Mali ata yung tinex ko. Ay, kulang ata yung ginawa ko. <laughs> Ay. I had a convo. I had a conversation ng pinsan ko. One of her friends was like, ah, pare pareho lang naman ang mga lalaki. I had to step back kasi I can clearly my uh, I can clearly see myself on her when I was on her situation. I would recommend you to read the book Attached kasi oh my god, mapapailing ka na lang, mapapatakip ka na lang ng mukha, 
girl kasi totoo you'd realize na if you have an anxious attachment style why partner up with an avoidant? You're setting up yourself na mababaliw ka sa kakaisip when we could have looked for secure partners pala. Though ironically, si anxious at si avoidant ang laging nag attract girl. <laughs> Maybe it's the universe way of healing both energies. But I also had to come to a place, one of my rock bottoms, na I had to define for myself what actually a healthy relationship is for me. It was non-existent in my personal life kasi I came from a broken family. I had to make peace with that kasi I cannot blame my parents then. Maybe, maybe they also needed that lesson for a personal journey that they're doing on their own. But going back dun sa kwentuhan namin ng pinsan ko, no? If a guy says that he doesn't want commitment, believe him. If you're on that phase, that's okay, okay lang sa you. By all means, it's your own life. But if seriously, ang gusto mo naman talaga is committed in a serious relationship, why would you go for that and hope that maybe he'd change? Or para may flowers ka sa Valentine's charat. If a guy communicated na ito lang yung may offer niya, don't also go with the drama of the long list about your worth, na bakit ikaw yung kailangan yung ipili, bakit ikaw yung deserving. Just smile and say, oh, thank you for being honest, but that value doesn't resonate with mine. And then you leave, girl. Ay, pag nagawa mo yun. My God. I am powerful nun, girl. Pag nagawa mo yun, magkaklap talaga ako para sa'yo. Um... Also, don't force any relationship na it's not meant to be kasi sometimes hindi lang naman talaga kayo match. And that's okay. For sure, darating lang yan. And pag na kita mo talaga siya, mapapakanta ka na lang ng Ikaw na ba si Mr. Right? <laughs> Ang kurni ko dun. Sabi nga, no? Uh, the quality is you're looking for another person be that person first. For example, you're looking for safety, security in your life. Give that to yourself first. Para din, di pressure agad yung mapupunta sa buhay natin. <laughs> I had to learn it too. And the last one would be managing our emotions. Now, um, let me ask you, when was the last time na you sit down with yourself and then you put your hands on your chest and then you ask, Girl, okay ka lang ba? We're super like good friends to other people, but are we also a good friend sa sarili natin? These days, no? Automatic pag nagising ka, kuha mo agad girl yung cellphone. Tapos scroll ka na agad sa social media. And then when we have a personal problem, post agad, alam agad ng mundo yan. Instead of going through the flow of emotions, um, sadly, when you ignore your mga negative emotions, no, halimbawa, um, when you feel sadness, when you feel anger, those emotions get stored as energy in our bodies if hindi natin siya na acknowledge. You know what will happen pag hindi mo siya nailabas? Na that same narration na nangyari, bakit ka nagalit, bakit ka nalungkot, would play in your head over and over again. Hindi ka niyan, girl, papatahimikin until you really sit down in silence and ask, what emotions am I feeling today? Now, I'm pretty sure this has not been in any way 100% of our fault kasi Nung bata tayo, I'm not sure if ikaw din, pero I'm sure you are. Charat. Pero, alimbawa, ano no, pinapagalitan ka ni mama mo, ganyan. Nasagot ka. Ay! Ay! <laughs> Girl, tumakbo ka na. Sasabihan ka talaga. A a ano, bata ka, nasagot ka ha? Or, ano, iiyak ka pa? Ano, iiyak ka pa? Ganyanin ka pa, Girl. <laughs> Or then, pag na-open up mo siya sa ibang tao, sometimes you would receive comments like, Eh, memo yan, girl. Ay, arte mo naman. Charot. Ay. Now, if you're not comfortable speaking it, then write it down. Write it down on a journal. Sometimes, um, if other people doesn't give you that kind of safe space para masabi mo yung emotions mo, ma-express mo yung sarili mo, let it also not be you. Kailangan natin tulungan yung sarili natin.
I know these conversations are kind of heavy, but I try to make it light as possible because I'm just trying to talk to I'm very much interested though kung ano yung mga bagay na natutunan mo din as adult on your own. Let me know in the comments. And also a little favor, uh, you did, YouTube would not be able to share it to a wider audience kasi this is not my usual niche. But I hope you would, especially if nag-resonate sa yung video na to. I'm sure it will help others too. So thank you so much for your time today. This is your At The Girl. It has been Odyssey and I'll see you guys in the next. Cheese! Ciao!